Welcome to iLecture Online. Before we get into the details of hypothesis testing, let's get a general overview of how that is actually done. So remember, hypothesis is some initial idea, some initial concept, some, some limited information. So let's say we have a population and we draw a sample from that population. Usually the sample is much, much smaller than the whole population. And so what do we do with the sample? Well, we find the sample mean, we find the sample size, we find the sample standard deviation. And then what do we get from that information? Something tells us that information has some clues about the actual population. So what do we do? We formulate a hypothesis based on that limited information. We draw a hypothesis and then we need to test the hypothesis and that's what it's all about is learning how to test that hypothesis because from the result of the test we're going to know something about that population based on the outcome of the test we will know something about the population with a certain confidence level and that's also important because we can have a very high confidence level we can have a medium confidence level we can have a low confidence level so that means if it's low confidence, that means that the results, well, you're not very sure that you're even close to being correct. But if you're very high confidence, then you know that almost certainly, not quite 100%, but almost certainly that the result of the hypothesis testing points to a specific property of the population. And you could put a lot of trust or a lot of weight in that conclusion. So we will learn how to do the various things, such as getting the sample mean, the sample size, the sample standard deviation from that how we're going to then draw the hypothesis from the hypothesis we're going to learn how to test the hypothesis and then from the result of the testing we're going to have a certain confidence level in the results of that test and so that's essentially what we're trying to do when we do hypothesis testing so hopefully that seems like it's intriguing to you we have lots of videos to come that show us how to actually do that so stay tuned and we'll show you how to do this hypothesis testing.